Did you miss Zongli the first time, second time around? You have zero Primo Gems left in your account. Should you pull on Hu Tao? What is going on here? We're going over chin up a good alternative to Zongli. You need to watch this video and that's why we're here. So let's talk about it. So today guys, we're tackling big boy Toma. Good evening, afternoon, whatever time it is. Steven and I here gonna drive you the right direction. All right, he's fine down there, I guess. So for Steven, let's get into it. So your boy Toma, he's here. We're gonna tackle that misinformation that you may have been seeing around the internet as well. DPS Toma, is that a real thing? We'll touch on that, but we're going to go over a lot of the basic stuff here first. What is Toma about? So this is what you need to know here. Don't skip. This is why energy recharge is important on Toma. So he has two ways to generate shields. One's from Blazing Blessing, his elemental skill, and then we have his elemental burst here as well. Now the Blazing Blessing gives you the big shield, the bigger shield, right? 9.5% of max HP, and then 1,000 flat here at talent level five. You can take seven pretty easily if you're a new player. So that's awesome. You can also see here, max shield damage absorption, 26% of max HP, 2737 flat as well. well how does that work out mathematically it's got an eight second duration a 50 second cooldown there's no resetting a character's elemental skill and you're using a pole arm so what are we doing here it's his elemental burst his elemental burst when you activate it it's going to last for 15 seconds with a 20 second cooldown and then every one second you have an internal cooldown where you will do something called the fiery collapse very small multiplier you can see 77 percent at talent level five so that is the teeniest tiniest itty bitty mouse multiplier in the game but what it does do is gives you additional shield damage absorption and the big part about that is the shield can stack on itself the e and the q can stack together the amount of skill the amount of burst this works in tandem with each other so if you put up blazing blessing and you have your good old elemental burst rolling you're doing damage you're applying shields more you're applying shields more and if you have some leftover shield which you will if you have them in the right build it will wrap all the way back around to blazing blessing and you'll be able to use elmo skill again and keep that shield relatively high the entire time of your genshin impact experience and that's the important part of his shield you can wrap all the way back around and that's amazing the reason you're not really building dps on him is multipliers just aren't that high you can try it if you want to fair warning don't do it let's check it out here fiery clap 77 percent at level five even take this all the way up there you max it out 10 13. the multiplier is not that big of a deal even if it was like a 200 percent multiplier it happens once every one second that is ridiculous you're gonna get 15 procs to this thing it is not worth the time and the effort you're gonna be sacrificing all your hp all your energy recharge all of those stats it's just not cool so don't do that same thing with blazing blessing the multiplier 195 on the e cool it's got a decent multiplier the cooldown on it is 15 seconds and unlike your boy shing cho who has a very high multiplier with a very high cooldown of 21 seconds you don't have access to sacrificial spear it doesn't exist it's not a weapon in the game unlike the sacrificial sword does where you can reset that get all them particles and then do it again for big damages so that's the differentiation between him and good old toma here so what are we going to be tackling here let's look at the artifact set so we are going to build him for big shield bot necessities so this is the set that i would recommend it's double two piece here you have times two tenacity of the milliset set which is going to give you 20 percent hp we like that helps our shields very awesome then the other one is emblem of the severed fate set 20 percent energy recharge if you're very new to the game you just started out you have access to toma there's going to be some four star artifact sets that exist that give 20 percent energy recharge like the exile set is very unique in that aspect as well i do believe like the scholar set does that too so 20 percent energy recharge very nice now when it comes to stats on our artifacts four of them are dedicated this is how you're going to run them so we're going to have an hp percent circlet and hp percent goblet that is how that's going to work there those are the main stats you're aiming for on top of that you're going to look for some energy recharge in your sub stats which can help you out a little bit as well maintaining that 80 cost elemental burst now the flower and the feather they always come you guys know this by now flat and flat so flat stats here on the flower and the feather looking for some energy recharge and hp on the subsets for both of these if possible there and then the sands here is going to be one of two different things here and this is going to be dependent on your weapon and what you're fighting because it's either going to be an hp percent sands with energy recharge subset or it's going to be an energy recharge sands this is because he has that 80 cost elemental burst and why are we talking about these two different things? What does our weapon have to do with it? So there's gonna be a couple of weapons that you have access to. The Black Castle is a three-star weapon. And if you take it all the way up to 
a level 90 it's gonna give you like 43 46 percent hp if you're running the black tassel you're going to probably want to run it unless you have incredibly well rolled subsets for energy recharge and artifacts if you're running the black tassel you're gonna be running an energy recharge sands if you have an energy recharge weapon like i don't know all the other ones that exist in the game like the favonius lance can help you out there energy recharge help you with the windfall refinement rank one two three four five which crits have a six percent chance to generate particles so we could use this one anything that has energy recharge you can use the catch on them if you're not using it hey you could throw your r5 engulfing lightning and just for the energy recharge we don't care about the attack we can't do damage on this character so to settle it up if you're black tassel energy recharge sands if you're using something like the favonius anything with energy recharge and the weapon hp percent sands and you're gonna end up with stats like this sub 30k hp at level 70 which is wild and we're gonna be going in there and doing a lot of cool stuff with this character he's gonna be able to shield a lot of stuff out there uh, you can see him just standing in stuff like ashdaha we've been doing floor 12 with him and the shield just is there forever this because a lot of the team compositions that you can use with this character are very well received one of his best teammates here is actually going to be Xing Cho, and they're going to be able to fit themselves into a lot of very popular teams i know i'm going to be asked by this already can you use toma with the five star on the own banner hu tao can you do that is that a thing because he's doing extra power damage every one second while trying to shield she's trying to use good old uh vaporize with Xing Cho. does this work out and yes it does you have to do two normal attacks with hu tao into a charge tech this is called the n2c and this is going to allow you to vaporize the charge tech on hu tao 100 of the time so if you need to protect your hu tao your new five star fantastic character out there dancing around you can do this with tomi you don't necessarily need a zongli but on top of that you can do other wonderful things like you've been seeing with taser teams if you're new to genshin impact that's just spamming electro charge on enemies and just vaporizing them and doing a whole bunch of cool stuff overloading them and this goes into this core team of four stars here so let's talk about this toma official Beto and a Xing Show. Awesome combination of characters. You don't need all four of these either. Say so you have Toma and Fischl, pretty easy access characters. The one character you want the most to combo with this is going to be Xing Show. He's one of the best characters in Genshin. If you can get your hands on him, awesome. If you see him on a banner in the future, you're putting a team together, you're just brand new to the game, get your hands on him. He's in part of nearly every single reaction based team in Genshin Impact, like 80% of them plus, which is ridiculous. Now, the other thing that he helps out Toma do here is between them two, they're gonna be able to do vaporize off each other. But when you have an electro character with Xing Cho, you're gonna be to electro charged enemies. And that's gonna give them both the hydro and the electro uh, related reaction on the enemy at the same time. They have both auras and then you can both vaporize and overload all at the same time. And it leads to a ton of damage there now Fischl is going to be another character that is very old to Genshin but is still also very powerful this is from her ascension here we're going to be looking at undone be thy sinful hex what a name here and this is why this team rocks you have electro charge coming out and then you now have vaporize every one second when an electro related elemental reaction is triggered with her E Oz on the field, you're gonna be doing bonus damage, which is why you see all of the lightning purple numbers flying everywhere in the different damage sort of showcases in the background, which is going to be amazing. Now, Beto, also a fantastic character, but you don't necessarily need them. The core here is Toma, Fischl, and Xing Shou. If you have access to a character named Sucrose, Venti, Kazaha, any sort of animal character, you can replace beta with them and you're going to have a very strong aoe presence any sort of elemental related reaction team toma is going to be fantastic and he's going to give you them big shields even as low as level 70 talent level 5 good enough for abyss level 12 currently on launch with him as a new character which is going to be fantastic in the right build and then on top of that if you just need someone to shield you up like zongli that's why you watch this video so take everything you learned today apply it make your boys true make them shine get steven off the floor if i had toma steven wouldn't be on the ground right now i would have burnt my hand what's that steven you want them to sub for you hey that's up to them boss